Greetings citizens and welcome to a short track demonstrating the proper method of bomb delivery and also the dive toss technique. OK, let's have a quick look at the profile of the uh, flight plan so you can see what I'm talking about. I've set myself up with some targets here on the apron pan of this uh, airfield, some F-15 and an A-10 aircraft aligned roughly on a heading of 310 on this apron pan at right angles to the runway. I'm coming in from the east on a heading of 260 flying along the southern shore of the lake and what I want to do is when I get to my IP which is actually a chimney that I've spotted on the recce round about here I shall turn left 60 degrees onto a heading of roughly 200 commence a 4 5G pull up with wings level and then when passing 1000 to 1200 meters I'll tip in right onto the target and this maneuver should have given me enough separation from my original heading of 260 so that I'll be ending up delivering my bombs on a heading of 320 so aligned with the axis of my targets to maximize the effect of the bombs well let's see if this works in practice So here we are, coming along the southern edge of the lake. OK, ECM is on and my chaff program is on. Bombs are selected. Looking for my chimney somewhere up ahead. OK, there's the chimney. So turning left now, heading of 200, straightening up and then a 4 5G pull up, wings level, looking right for my target, there it is on the pan, round about 1000, 1200, tipping right, lift line through the targets, pulling down onto the targets and trying to get my bomb full line aligned nicely with the head of the line above the targets so that I can walk the pipper onto the targets. Bombs away. And that looks like a reasonably good hit. But, of course, being the super steely-eyed pilot that I am, I've noticed a Vulcan gun on the north side of the runway, and I'll now use that as an excuse for demonstrating the dive-toss technique. There are some limitations to the technique, primarily that below 200 metres you lose weapons ranging information, but the big benefit of the technique is that Having acquired the target visually, perhaps at medium altitude, you can come down to low level and deliver your bombs with a pull-up at the last moment, but hopefully staying outside the weapons envelope of any anti-aircraft defences. So the technique works as follows. You acquire the target visually, place the bomb pipper over the target, squeeze and hold the trigger to lock the target into the computer, and then you can come back down to low level before the final phase of the pull-up. So here we are looking for the Vulcan gun. It's at the far end of the runway, just on the north of the runway. And just a bit high there. OK. Make sure you're doing this without the bomb fall line being visible. So the trigger is now held in, the info is held in the computer and now coming back down to low level, a much safer level. Flying in now below 200 I'll lose the weapons ranging information so I'll need to come up above that for the final phase of the turn. I want to keep the vertical line above the flight cross in line with the pipper the whole time. Looking for the 10, the arrow on the left to start moving down from the 10, pulling up and bombs releasing and they release just after you, you hear the tone. And let's have a look now, see whether I've been successful. Uh, 
There we go. And judging by the fact that there's been no returning fire, I think that's worked. OK, well I hope you've enjoyed the track demonstrating the pop-up technique and the dive-toss technique, and see you around.